Danny again for another kids segment. So today we learned on Friday that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. However, today we celebrate the fact that he rose again, that Jesus defeated death and sin has no power over us anymore. So I think in the first three days, the disciples should have actually been quite afraid because Jesus died and they didn't know what was going to happen. But because Jesus died and defeated death, we didn't have to be afraid anymore. But I don't know about you, I still get afraid sometimes. We're sometimes afraid of the dark, thunderstorms, and even getting sick. During this time at home, we can be afraid about a whole bunch of different things. So I'm going to use something just to explain actually fear to us. So what happens is, imagine you are this flame. You see the flame? Oh, oh, oh. It's quite hot. Don't play with fire at home. And this paper here yeah, represents all our different fears. So you can have loud noises, bad dreams, thunderstorms, the dark. We can be afraid of a whole bunch of things. Now what happens is, is this our fear kind of makes, fear is another word for being afraid kind of makes like a little fan. Now what happens is, is if we, if we use the fear fan, you see it makes, it makes the flame all shaky and wobbly. And that's exactly what being afraid does to our spirits. Our spirits become all shaky and wobbly. But when Jesus died, he did a really amazing thing. He gave us the Holy Spirit. So when we ask Jesus to come live in our hearts, the Holy Spirit comes and lives in us. And we can actually ask the Holy Spirit to help us. And one way to ask the Holy Spirit is prayer. So imagine this bag is all is represents prayer. So now we now when we pray, we close our eyes and we speak to Jesus. Hey, that's what prayer is. That, so ultimately prayer is speaking to Jesus. But like this plastic bag, prayer, you can't really see prayer. But prayer is a very powerful tool, even though we can't see it, to stop us from being afraid. So when we're afraid, what we can do is we can pray. So when we become scared of getting sick or the dark, we can start to pray. And what prayer does, you see, I'm going like crazy. Look with this fan. I'm going like crazy. But the fan, but the, the flame isn't wobbly. And it isn't shaky because we can ask Jesus to help us. Isn't that so cool? So the Bible says when we are afraid, we can pray. So in Philippians 4 verse 6, it says, Don't be worried about anything, but in everything with prayer and petition with thanksgiving, send your requests to God, so that peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind. So next time you're afraid of the dark or getting sick or being alone is making you all scared, we can just pray to Jesus. Okay, so it's family challenge time. So I'm sure maybe those of you who are on a home group got a whole bunch of different challenges that you can do. So a great one is to adopt a nation. So you can use research or Google to find a country that is also facing challenges because of Corona. And you and the family can sit and find it on a map and pray for that country. Or even do some research into that country, find some interesting facts, dance or games they play, and learn, learn about them as well as do the games or the dances as a family. So that's a really great challenge to do because we can, we can carry other people also on our hearts because prayer is very, very powerful. So a cool activity that you can do when you're feeling afraid or worried is you as a family can create some prayer charts. So everyone can put any worries, fear, anxieties into this job and make a no to fear job. So every day you can take one or two hours, it's up to you, and you can just declare the love of Jesus over these fears, anxieties and worries. Have such a blessed Resurrection Sunday.